Uh, my guest today is Dr. Orlando Patterson, one of the world's leading public intellectuals, a sociologist at Harvard, uh, an author of the uh, prize-winning book, Freedom in the Making of Western Culture. Thank you for joining us, Dr. My Patterson. Uh, when Americans speak of freedom today, uh, the conservatives tend to use it in the sense of freedom from government interference or uh, oppression. Liberals, particularly since the Civil Rights Revolution, mm -hmm. have tended to use it in the terms of status or dignity, that is, mm -hmm. freedom from humiliation. Mm -hmm. What seems to have dropped out, at least in my perspective, is the older Lockean, Jeffersonian notion of freedom as the fruits of your labors, uh, the economic conception of freedom. Uh, and you see this particularly in the area of race and uh, inequality, a subject that you've studied a great deal. Mm -hmm. The economic aspects of racism, mm -hmm. uh, not just chattel slavery, mm -hmm. but sharecropping, mm -hmm. contract labor, uh, indentured servitude, uh, tend to be slighted mm -hmm. uh, compared to the status aspects, mm -hmm. to the humiliation aspects. Yes, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes. Do, you, do you agree with that? Yeah, assessment? I agree. Um, freedom has been fragmented in America in very mm -hmm. interesting ways. I mean, several things have happened. One is that um, uh, it's been appropriated largely by the right. Mm -hmm. um, the left uh, tend not to use the, the word freedom very much. In fact, there's going to be a, 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 a um, conference um, uh, in a couple of weeks in which uh, some progressives will be meeting to see how w uh, we, meaning liberals, can mm -hmm. um, sort of um, take the word freedom back. And there have been several books by linguists um, um, trying to su make su suggestions about how this can be done. But what has happened, essentially, is that um, historically, they, 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 it, it was um, a trinity. It was um, a, a very much a, um, a triad of um, values. It meant um, it meant actually being able to do what you want, having the power to do what mm -hmm. you want. That was always the case. And that went with independence. This is freedom, too, very much so. Well, th that's one of the tensions, though, in progressive yeah. thought, don't you think? Because a lot of progressives are concerned with equality yes. in statistical yes. terms. Yes. And of, the answer is more redistribution. Yes. But that cuts against the independence of the person. Yes. Well, here's the wonderful thing. Who is receiving yes. the largesse right. of, of yeah. the state, right? Well, here's the wonderful thing about freedom. It's not, it, 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 it's coherent um, ideologically, but not necessarily logical, because it has meant freedom to do things. It has also meant freedom to resist others sort of uh, messing with you. But it has also, and this is what's um, been lacking for a long time, it has also meant sharing the public power, mm -hmm. participation. I mean, the original um, construction, in fact, among the Greeks, right. emphasize democracy, uh, po people power. And um, uh, what has happened um, over time is that one or other element has been emphasized. And in America, the, um, there's been increasing the emphasis on participation. Mm -hmm. as, indeed, we've come to define um, attempts at equalization as um, being in opposition to freedom, which is defined mainly in negative terms to mean get off my back, right. including the, the state as the bogeyman. Once you make the state the bogeyman, it's very hard to um, develop a notion of freedom as participation in that state. As, as uh, uh, Jefferson said, you know, uh, active citizenship in, a, in, 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 in the republic is a very important part of it, too. And um, so that um, triangular sort of uh, field of values, which is freedom, has really been shattered. I think it's in, in Europe, I mean, it's still, um, um, after the liberal revolution of the 19th century, they, mm -hmm. they went back to it. But um, from surveys I've done, and others have done, and from my interviews with Americans, which I've been spending a lot of time doing, it's quite clear at least two things have happened. One, that it's come to mean essentially, get off my back, uh, minimal state, little participation in it. Um, and um, it has also become increasingly appropriated uh, more by conservatives. And um, I, I, I don't give courses on freedom anymore at Harvard because I don't get much interest in it. Oh, is that right? That's, that's fascinating. Mm -hmm. uh, do you attribute that to, since uh, presumably you have a largely left of center right, uh, exactly. audience, student audience, that's right, right, uh, right, uh, right. that this is uh, lack of interest on the part lack of, of the, interest. The and as you said earlier, um, uh, aspects of freedom become redefined in other terms. Mm -hmm. And um, it's civil rights, which in a sense is one dimension of freedom. 
And, um, but that wonderful triangular tension, which is mm -hmm. the power to do things, the power to resist you doing things to me, um, and, and also the power to participate in the public um, space. Um, that, that triangle attention, it was all his attention which made the values so dynamic and powerful and which is the source of Western dynamism, um, has been shattered here. Well, I think one of the, the trends you see on the left is a tension between the populist element yeah. and the progressive element. Yeah. Uh, scholars have pointed out that the populists preferred rule-based regimes, simple, clear, uh, you know, the, the separation of banking and, and, and investment mm -hmm. banking and, and the New Deal. Uh, the progressives preferred uh, expert discretion yes. uh, because they tended to come from the more credentialed uh, right. Uh, right. elites. Right. Exactly. Uh, and you see the same thing, in the same tension in the civil rights movement in the 50s and 60s between the people like Bayard Rustin who wanted mm -hmm. to maintain the alliance Right. of right. Uh, African Americans right. with the labor movement yes. uh, and those who, who thought of the civil rights movement as one of many social movements yes. along yes. with feminism and environmentalism yes. and yes. so on yes. and it seems that latter uh, progressive uh, view uh, triumphs yes. and that would lead to a neglect of this yes. emphasis on power because if you can trust the good liberal elites yeah. to look out for you yeah. whereas the populist, even the populist liberal approach was very suspicious of power, even of yes. liberals yeah. in power. Don't forget there was one important element of the civil rights movement which is reacted against um, the Rustins, um, which emphasized power. Well, self-help. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Self -help exactly. And exactly. so on. Uh, but that didn't get very right. far right. either. And right. it sort of became more a legal um, constitutional issue. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it became civil rights, which was very important. Um, but then um, that also, um, um, could become problematic if when civil rights is sort of allied too closely to identity movements. Mm -hmm. um, and um, the, um, the, it's, it's, there's a tension there because identity means identity with a collectivity. It means right. a promotion of the group. And um, that, there's a tension between that and, and what's at the heart of um, civil rights, which is sort of highly individualistic when you, when you think about it in its, um, in its um, thrust. Right. Well, do you think that the election of President Obama has changed this, or is it, is it too early to tell? It was interesting to me that he appeared everywhere with five or six uh, American flags uh, behind him. <laughs> right, uh, and right. I think that was a message of inclusiveness and a Absolutely. kind of inclusive national identity, and it wasn't simply about uh, conservative attacks on uh, foreign policy weakness. Right. Uh, what Obama has tried to do is to um, in a sense, um, um, project and emphasize one narrative of, Amer of America as an inclusive place. For him, mm -hmm. inclusiveness is very, very important. And um, he, I think, and I can only guess, I don't know him, um, has some um, problem with um, a strong identity, collectivist, ethnicist sort mm -hmm. of um, position. Now that's going to get him into some trouble because, as I mentioned earlier, um, his own somewhat more exclu inclusive sort of position, which emphasized intercultural, mm -hmm. um, um, you know, um, progress, as opposed to multicultural right. activity, which emphasizes a more, um, uh, as I said, universalist um, um, uh, approach to policies and to life generally, than a, a more particularist one. Um, doesn't really sit very well with um, um, many of the black, in the mm -hmm. black leadership, and is really grumbling right now about um, how much he's been doing for blacks per se. Now his response would be, "I've done a hell of a lot. Mm -hmm. The health care bill is going to do more for blacks than uh, uh, because they're poor than for um, most other groups." As the right has seen, by the way, as you know, Rush, Rush Limbaugh and so on have been saying, uh, "This is a." bill for black people. Right. Um, it's a bill for poor people, which will benefit poor people. The way in which Social Security, even though it never mentioned black or never targeted blacks, has done well, more for blacks. excluded them initially. It excluded in initially, the but in the end, did right. more for them than any other right. um, bill. And I think that's his general um, uh, approach, in, um, which, however, may not work politically, um, especially if, as has been happening now with the Great Recession, 
it's disproportionately influenced blacks and um, and blacks and Hispanics are going to be saying, well, you know, I mean, what's in this for me? Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that they will come to recognize this, um, that there is a lot in it for them from the kind of um, non identity politics that he's pursuing. We'll, 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 we'll have to wait and, and, and see. Well, freedom in America is a work in progress. So thank Absolutely. you for uh, uh, helping to shed some light on it. Uh, Dr. Orlando Patterson, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.